apprehensive about taking the bus from Tulum to Cancun or any parts in between, this video is for you. This is the ADO or ADO in Spanish bus stop in Tulum, Mexico. It's very clean and organized. It's actually one of the best bus stations I've been to in Latin America. You can see people lining up to get on the bus there in orderly fashion and another bus coming in as many buses go to many different destinations from this place. This particular sign shown right here is an organization of all the airlines at the Cancun airport that fly in and out of which terminals. That's really helpful as you'll see later in the video. There's the schedule of all the buses that come to and from the Tulum bus station as shown here. Very easy to read especially for an English speaking person. The line outside of the bus station is shown here and is what people who don't buy their tickets ahead of time will have to face. It is not the slowest line ever, but it does make you stand outside in the heat. I suggest buying your tickets early. Here is the street right outside of the bus station in Tulum. You can see the local community and the bus had to maneuver through some of these side streets. One very interesting thing about Tulum is they don't seem to have any rules or regulations or laws that restrict the use of really large vehicles going through neighborhood streets. So you'll see like a 18-wheeler going through a residential area just like you're seeing this bus go through this fairly narrow two-lane street. Once we got out of that neighborhood we got to the main drag, 307, which connects Cancun and Tulum and other coastal towns and cities along the Yucatan Peninsula. And here we go. This is kind of the middle of nowhere. You get to civilization intermittently on this road. To the left is the Mayacoba Golf Resort. It's where a PGA Tour event is held every year. And then as you get closer to Playa del Carmen, you'll start to notice more structures and more civilization. The ride is fairly unremarkable. Here's more civilization. Sometimes the bus has to pull over into these side streets. This actually shows my ride going toward Tulum from the Cancun airport. I got my host to pick me up and was kind of lazy and didn't record the whole video. But that's what it looks like when you leave Cancun for Tulum. Shown here is a slowdown area. There are these structures in the medians intermittently on this Highway 307 that the buses slow down for and all the cars slow down for. Approaching the Cancun airport here. You don't really get to go through Cancun very much or see much of it when you go to the airport which is fine I guess and then you see these signs on the right that show the airlines that go out of which terminals that's very helpful because if you land at one terminal and you need to get to another it's going to be very difficult this is made especially difficult by the daily hourly and trip based transportation providers this bus stopped at terminals two and three because terminal one is for private flights only. You'll need to know which terminal you're flying in and out of before you get to the airport. Here's terminal two. Park for a minute there. To let people off who are flying on airlines that flew out of terminal two. And then finally we arrived at terminal three. I was flying Delta which flies out of terminal three. As I was walking into the airport there is some serious tourist regalia including a Jimmy Buffett Margaritaville hut. I must compliment Jimmy Buffett's branding. He must have made tons of money off of those things. This is actually walking out of the terminal to get my ride to Tulum from the Cancun airport. I wanted to show it because the people on either side of this are kind of annoying and they try to sell you timeshares. Most of the time, if you're in this position, in this place, just ignore those people. When you walk out of this tunnel, which is the tunnel I'll show you the other side of in a minute, you're going to see taxis right there, people asking you if you want a taxi. 
It's better to know your transportation plans ahead of time if you're flying into Cancun. So I walked past that and went to the check-in desk when I flew out of Cancun. And this was actually the path I took to find my ride when I arrived. So if you're a passenger and you're going to get a ride from someone you know or someone you've already contacted, you'll walk this way to go to Terminal 3 where they can pick you up. It took me a minute to find this. This is actually what it'll look like when you leave the Cancun airport. This is in a car. And then you can get to Tulum and hopefully you can eat eat at places like this. These are just tacos that I ate and taco places that I went. I'm leaving a description to the taco tour I took. Hopefully that helps you get on the ADO bus to get to the Cancun airport from Tulum.